Hello, Judgelings. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hopefully you had a good time. <coughs> Sorry about that. Had to pop. But as you can see, I'm a red mage now. A level 70 red mage at that. And I'll be saying the exact same thing in the next video, because I have to re-record re this video, because I had audio issues for some reason. But yeah, originally I was doing this as a... Uh, as my dragoon. And again, I'll say this for the second time tonight as I'm recording this. But the first time for you. But I have the chicken knife from the collector's edition, which is cool. It's a level one weapon, so it's basically just a glamour. But yeah, so today we're doing Amptable Keep! Which is awesome. So let's do this. Got clear. Dusk Vigil, which is the next video of. I'll be, uh. You know. Doing. Well, I did, but. That's going to be the next video of soloing, soloing the realm. So. Let's do this. Come on, game. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Amptable keep hard mode. Love the song, uh, the theme song for this uh, version of Amptable Keep. Because it sounds. Does it really sound. Uh, like medieval fantasy, like doesn't fit fit the genre of fan subgenre of fantasy. Fourteen is it sounds like some sci-fi, like Metroid kind of music. It actually does sound like it's from a Metroid game, which I really love. By the way, I have the new remake of of uh, Metroid 2. And I'll go, well, I'll go over it right now. And second time here, well, first time for you, but and does Vigil be the second thing, but as a red mage, you got healing and raising, which won't increase your red mage uh, bar there. But you, the attacks, you need to keep them like leveled, uh, or at least like close enough. I think, I think, if like, you just feel like, white magic or black magic all the way to the top, you'll screw up somehow, or overcharge or something and then they'll drain. I'm not quite sure I haven't really read into it and come to that problem, but yeah. Keep it balanced like it is right now. And what's cool about these vi living vines right now, if you uh, put the enemies under it, they'll get vulnerability up. Same goes with you though. So don't s keep the enemies under them. But don't stand under them yourselves. Or so you'll get uh, the vulnerability deeper. Here's 
that's our first treasure car for the evening. Let's see. Ooh, an X potion. Okay, awesome. And these old shoes will summon. If I didn't kill it fast enough, it will summon extra enemies. And here comes the the first boss up here. For him, he'll do a few AOE moves. Keep him away from the statues. One of the uh, charge up attacks he'll do, he'll target one of the on the team members go behind the statues and the statues will eat the attack and yeah don't let him destroy the statues as, as the tank keep him in the middle of the room Does that attack? As you can see, he, when he does that charge attack, stand close to him. Ooh, got some healing gloves and some tawny latex. I don't think they sell. Well, on my server, the Coral server, I don't think they, uh. The Tawny Latex sells well anymore. Used to in the beginning, but. Not anymore. And as you can see, there's the enemy over there. Attacking us when we're not even uh, even close to them. Ooh, the demonic room. And as usual, it's a uh, Marlboro, so stay away from it when it does its bad breath attack, or whatever the variation is called. God, I love that impactful spell. It's like a rose. Kind of magical spell. Save my thing for the tread over there. And what do we get in this treasure coffer? An axe ether. Excellent. And he'll call some of those little buggy guys. Not these Walmas, but the other ones. The ones with the same name. Foxglove attacking us when we are not even close to it. Which is pretty neat, I guess. Oh, another high elixir. Awesome. Is there just over here now? Just some rubble. Either way, he'll. Either path you take here, it leads you to here. Oh, 
that is. Oh well, the vulnerability thing will not last that long. Okay, for the boogeyman. Ooh. Eventually he'll disappear and these dead guys will get revived and you need to kill them fast. And see this little ball of light, you need to kill it, get a status effect from it, then chase down the boogeyman when he's invisible. The, and when the status effect runs out, it'll cause a point blank AOE, which you want the boogeyman to take so he can reappear. I think I just, uh... Get irradiated. Now, chase the monkey down. Wait for it. Boom. Then both of them will disappear. And these guys will disappear. If you really want to take care of the uh, model quickly, because you I think his attack like uh, insta kills yet or something. Troubles. A ring of casting that I don't need, and some cashmere fleas, and some razzy sand, and a build of casting that I don't need. So let's go through the Aether Flow. Oh, this was a pain in the ass back in the day. Basically, it's a uh, enemy rush or gauntlet or whatever. You need to kill them very fast. There's these demon walls at all three of the... Or all, yeah, all four of the uh, ends there. If you don't kill them in time, they'll squish ya. Well, we don't have to kill the walls, we just have to kill the enemies in the ring of fire here. So let's... Let's go. This was like a nail biting, biting it. Uh, go at this if it's synced. And there we go. Easy peasy. 
on to the final boss. Avoid sense. And here's Issa who wants to get to know him. His mechanics. Basically, he'll do some AoE attacks. One of them, he'll put some adds right on to a couple of the team members and trap them there. Kill them fast and then kill the other adds to stop his AoE from growing into a room ride AoE. But you'll see. Like the, these AoEs. So basically, that'll happen a few times. If you're a stick here, if you're a melee attack, kill them quickly. So that's kind of pain in the ass, but it's doable. So when he does the wild card attack, kill both ass quickly. And then he'll spawn some sides around the room. So watch out. And I don't know why I... And I died! See, you can't even still die here. <laughs> oh well, I meant to do that. Actually, I didn't think it would kill me that badly. And I don't know why I wasn't attacking. Anyways... <clears throat> This guy again! This guy again!
whatever reason. Oh well. Eat that now. And voila! And that's the attack guy. Yeah, he's still alive. We won't meet him again until... Duskaith. The Duskaith uh, drive for man, right? So hopefully I can record that soon. If I ever get try for people to do that with me. Well, I can there. Releasing a try for man raid raid uh roulette so that'll be cool so anyways judgelings hope you like this re-recorded uh, version of anthropo keypod and this judgelings as usual i'm judge master and hello to all those people in Rogos reach right now anyways judgelings i'll see you on the flip side Bye bye